Today I'm going to show you what I eat in a day on the carnivore diet, actually over the last 300 days. It's mostly beef, butter, bacon, eggs, but a lot of other stuff in there as well. And if it was a memorable meal, I'd take out my camera and take a little video or photo for you. And by the end of this video, I'm going to tell you what I've learned in 300 days and what was the most incredible and reasonable, affordable meal there is. My favorite meal, I should say. So these pictures are just going to stream by. Otherwise, this would take an hour. Uh, one of my favorite meals is, of course, steak, in particular ribeye. And I prefer to reverse sear it. I do it on the smoker low and slow until it reaches an internal temperature of about 110 degrees. And then I will sear it either on a cast iron skillet or on a charcoal grill. And that is by far one of my favorite meals. One of my biggest mistakes on carnivore is not getting enough fat. It's tempting to just have a strip steak or a tenderloin or some chicken, but there's just not enough fat there. So ribeye is really the go-to. The other trick is I like to cook or sear my steak in beef tallow, which is, of course, beef fat. And that will get you to your fat counts. Another trick I use is butter lots of butter if i have like a strip steak i will actually cut several pads of butter and with each bite of steak i'll have a little bit of steak a little bit of butter one little power tip is the butter is better if it's cold if you melt it it just doesn't have the same properties and it doesn't seem to uh, fill me up as fast or make my stomach feel as good frankly some of the best meat you can get is grass-fed local. Meet your local farmer. This is just that. These are some porterhouse steaks I purchased. They're grass-fed from my neighbors. I see the cows every day, and it's regenerative, it's delicious, and you're supporting a local business. Some of you watching this may be saying, man, this guy eats a lot of steak. Must be nice. I do eat a lot of steak, but again, I only take photos of the steak. I've had countless burger patties and ground beef and eggs that I just didn't bother to take pictures of. So again, this is kind of the highlights, the best of the best. I had some clips in here of my travels around the world filming Healing Humanity. I don't know if you guys caught it earlier. You can rewind. There was a shot of Maggie cooking over her wood-fired stove. She cooked up a huge cast iron skillet of fat chunks along with eggs and ground beef. And those were some of the best breakfasts I've ever eaten. There was also a couple clips in here, if you caught them, of my friend Jeff DeProsperous. He took us to an amazing uh, burger place. We had some bacon burgers and they were delicious. My family and I went on our first vacation in 10 years and I was carnivore on a cruise ship and it had its challenges. I did some videos on that, but I ate a lot of eggs and the steak restaurant was incredible. So I had a few really good steaks there, but lots of bacon and eggs. Speaking of eggs, I want to talk about now one of my favorite meals on the carnivore diet. One of the most inexpensive meals that is also delicious and filling and there couldn't be anything better for you. I'm talking about eggs and there's a million way to cook eggs. My favorite way is the power bowl you can see here on the screen beef butter bacon eggs all in a cast iron skillet uh, another way is what i like to call crispy egg yolks and you've seen a few clips of these when you see the frying pan and there's just some yellow yolks in there there's no whites um, some people have autoimmune issues causes flare-ups skin issues if you eat the whites i just personally love the yolks that's where all the fat is that's where all the good stuff is for christmas this year i cooked up a carnivore feast prime rib chicken turkey a little bit of everything and it was amazing you may have seen a few clips of steaks from restaurants that is always tricky uh, i did that a lot early on in my carnivore journey not so much anymore despite what you ask and you say don't put any seasonings don't put any seed oils you sometimes often still get those things and for me in particular they really mess me up one of the biggest meals i've eaten was a tomahawk ribeye and that was fantastic my overall favorite meal though is definitely a reverse seared ribeye low and slow and then finished on a cast iron skillet my most frequent meal is the power bowl power bowl power bowl and i just uh i love steak it's been 300 days i love meat i love ground beef get it nice and crispy my favorite breakfast is scrambled eggs 
uh, with some beef fat and a little bit of very crispy ground beef on the side. Uh, I had way too much bacon this year. That is something I'm trying to avoid going forward. Haven't had any bacon in a couple days. Bone broth is also a really good go-to. This is some homemade bone broth I did as well. One of my most memorable and favorite meals out to eat was in Chicago. We went to a Brazilian steakhouse. We were filming Dr. Tony Hampton for our Healing Humanity documentary. And we had a meetup and a bunch of people came, a bunch of carnivores. And it was just an incredible and memorable dinner I will never forget. Another little secret I learned I called the carnivore crack sauce. You cook in the beef tallow and then you drip that sauce with a little bit of butter mixed into it over your steak and it is fantastic. One of the most delicious things ever. People say carnivore is so expensive. It can be, but it's really less expensive than what I paid on the standard American diet. Again, I had a ton of eggs and ground beef and patties that you didn't see here. Eggs are inexpensive. They're delicious. They're underrated in my opinion. They should be a go-to for so many carnivores. I literally have eggs probably almost every single day for 300 days now. They're fantastic and they give you uh, so much nutrients and fat that the body needs. Man, it's been a crazy 300 days. This meal I had with my good friend Jeff DeProsperous while we were filming him for the documentary was fantastic. His brother-in-law smoked this up for us. Their dino ribs and their meatballs wrapped in bacon. These were fantastic. And then later, Jeff's good friend and my friend Dwight, amazing. He had us over for his house and we had a carnivore feast. I mean, they had ribeyes, chicken, elk meatballs, sausage, every kind of meat imaginable. And that by far was one of the best meals I've ever eaten. And it inspired me uh, for Christmas and holidays here at home just to do a big feast with different types of meat. Something that seems to happen for every carnivore is at some point you'll never want to go out to eat again because, and this isn't an ego thing, it's just experience. Uh, nobody can cook a steak better than a carnivore. And I've really perfected it and I prefer eating at home. And it saves money, but it's so much more delicious. This was a reverse seared ribeye I cooked up. Besides beef, butter, bacon, eggs, I consume a lot of salt. I use the Redmond's Fine Salt. And that's it. I've had nothing else this entire 300 days other than water, occasionally some seafood or turkey or chicken. Uh, but mostly beef. I feel so much better eating beef. When you have a lot of meat, it can be less expensive to buy it in bulk and cut your own. I get these ribeye roasts from Costco. I'm trying to get these locally from my neighbor as well. And then I cut it up myself. It's a little less expensive and I can cut them thicker, which I like uh, because I smoke them and reverse sear them so I can have them pretty thick and they're delicious. This is how you eat. This is what you don't eat. This is what you eat. By far the most fun and exciting meal I've ever had on Carnivore was just recently with my Carnivore daughter Emma and my Carnivore buddy JT. We decided to knock on doors and find a stranger that would allow us into their home to cook them a Carnivore dinner. And what are we going to ask them? You going to knock or I'm going to knock? You're going to knock. We're gonna ask them if they're gonna let us two knuckleheads in their house so we can cook them a carnivore dinner right in their own kitchen. Two YouTubers from Wisconsin here and we're on the carnivore diet. We're looking for someone we can cook a steak dinner for tonight. It's going too long. All right, we're done, we're done, we're done. That's crazy. Hey, let's go. And it's absolutely amazing and incredible what happened. The people we met were so cool. Here's a little clip from that. Uh, I will leave a link in the description below because if you miss this one, you are missing out. Knocking on doors, asking strangers if we can come into their house and cook them carnivore dinner. Check it out. So that is 300 days of carnivore for me. And a typical day, it's usually bacon and eggs. And then if I'm lucky, it's a steak or burger patties for dinner. Lots of butter, lots of fat. I've been doing this for 300 days. I feel incredible. I'm gonna be doing it for the rest of my life. 
I have never felt better. I have overcome depression, anxiety. I'm down 100 pounds since my heaviest. I lost most of that on carnivore, some of that on keto. I don't have IBS anymore. I don't snore anymore. My aches and pains, arthritis and gout are all gone. And I am doing a documentary called Healing Humanity, The Power of a Proper Human Diet to show the stories of real individuals doing the proper human diet for one year across a multitude of different health ailments and issues, not just obesity, to see what happens. If you're interested in learning more about that, there's a link in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching.